Federal opposition parties are figuring out their strategies after last week's election, and there's been much speculation about the future of Conservative Party leader Andrew Scheer. A former Tory cabinet minister added to that speculation today. Our Mike LeCouture is following that for us tonight. Mike. Yeah, Donna, we've been speaking to Conservatives who have been standing behind leader Andrew Scheer in the campaign that they ran. But there's been one nagging question, namely, how is it that Scheer was unable to defeat a Prime Minister who was facing the SNC-Lavalier controversy, two breaches of the ethics laws, and the blackface-brownface story? A few people have addressed that publicly until today. I mean, it came from the man who's been rumored to have strong interest in running to take over the leadership of the party. Peter McKay was in Washington, D.C. at the Kennedy Institute at the Wilson Center. He's participating in a panel discussion on the Canadian election. And he put the Conservative failure very bluntly. What I'm going to do is just ask you the question that everyone's thinking is, what exactly happened? Yeah, to use a good Canadian analogy, it was like having a breakaway on an open net and missing the net. <laughs> um, you, you sort of gave a litany of uh, some of the issues that were dogging Prime Minister Trudeau heading into the election. You left out his trip to India and uh, the SNC-Lavalin affair, which is a much more serious issue that is still a live issue. And Donna, the Conservative leadership group has been meeting in Ottawa over what went wrong, but the really tough questions will be coming from those outgoing and returning MPs next week on Wednesday when the Conservatives hold their caucus meeting on Parliament Hill. All right, Mike LeCouture in Ottawa, thanks.